Okay, in this next video, I'm going to do a demonstration on the groove the support block. And as we look at the picture here, you can see that it's still six inches long by three inches wide and two inches tall. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start in the top view with a rectangle that is going to be six by three. I'm going to raise that up one inch, and then I'm going to do a secondary sketch on the top surface in order to create these two rectangles that are one inch by three inches long. So I have created a new document, and I'm naming it Grooved Support Block. Hit OK. Okay, now that my workspace is here, I'm going to start a new sketch, and I'm going to choose the top view. I'm going to look down on the top by selecting top on my view cube to the right. And I'm going to use my rectangle tool. From the origin, I'm going to click once to start, a second click to end, and I'm going to take my hands off the mouse and type 6, enter, 3, enter. I'll change my camera back to isometric, and I will now extrude at a distance of two inches. Enter and click the green check mark. Now my secondary sketch, I'm going to go to sketch. And instead of choosing front, top, or right, I'm going to go to the top surface of my block and click on here when it's highlighted. So now I can look straight down on the top. And now I'm going to use the rectangle tool to make two rectangles. One from this corner, and I'm going to make that three, enter, one, enter, so that it is three inches by one inch. And I'm going to do the same thing here from this corner. So now I have two rectangles, three inches by one inch. Go to my camera and change that back to isometric. I'm going to go to my extrude tool and I don't want to select those two. I want to select this surface and unselect those surfaces. And instead of adding, I'm going to remove so that the rest of it drops down. And when it's there, I'm going to hit the green check mark and I'm left with the grooved support block.